Bully. Webster's Dictionary defines the act of bullying as abuse and mistreatment of someone vulnerable by some stronger or more powerful. With the increased usage of the internet, bullying as a whole, especially online, has skyrocketed. In 2021 alone, at least 23% of middle schoolers and high schoolers reported being cyber bullied. If you or anyone you know has been affected by bullying, it's time to speak up against it so we can band together and make a better world for everyone alike. Good morning, Hart. I'm Danny. And I'm Landon. Today is Tuesday, October 4th. And the entire month of October is Bully, Bully Awareness, Awareness month. month. So what exactly are we doing for Bully Awareness Month, Danny? Glad you asked, Landon. We want those who are going through a tough time with bullying to know that Hart is a safe place to talk about the problem and to ask for help. And where can you get the help? Well, the most important thing is to let someone know. You could talk to a counselor or a trusted adult like a teacher. The point is to talk to somebody about the problem so you can get the help you need. Remember, Heart, we are an inclusive community who supports one another. That's what it means to be one heart. We should always be lifting each other up and not tearing each other down. Speaking of lifting up, please stand for the pledge. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's Mr. Dochebaum with your Tuesday, not Monday, Tuesday morning message. It's Tuesday, Hart. Welcome back from your full break. Well, it might have not have been that long, I am hopeful you rested up a bit to finish your first quarter strong. Yes, that's right. Quarter grades come out on Friday, and we have office hours Wednesday morning if you need more help from your teacher. Just come early and head to your teacher's room to see where you can bring up your grade. Also, attendance privileges can be either earned back or taken away after this Friday, so I'm hopeful those of you 11th and 12th graders who didn't have off-campus privileges got to class on time these past few weeks in order to earn that back. Consequently, some of you will have those privileges revoked. Which reminds me, starting next week, we will be again calling home each and every period that you miss or that you're late. So make sure you're getting to class on time. And speaking of getting into class on time, I'm super excited to share with you our student of the week, Aaron Shores. Aaron, this may come to you as a shock, but you have really turned it around. The person who nominated Aaron has known him since ninth grade, where he earned zero credits up until then. Never attended Zoom school during COVID, but when recently looking at his grades and attendance, they were so impressed. Aaron really lit up when his staff member told him how proud he was, how proud they were of him. He was very proud of himself too. Great job, Aaron. We are all proud of you. Finally today, I would like to address unity. Recently, I have spoke about words being spoken on campus and the inappropriateness of certain terms. My point has been to make sure that we are inclusive at Hart High School, or when we are representing Hart, such as at a football game, or out at lunch on campus. There are some groups on campus that are feeling that hate speech is rampant on our campus, and that is hurtful to hear. We must be respectful of all, whether we agree or disagree with them. Soon it will be election day and the political divisiveness in our community and nation has become sickening. If you don't have something nice to say, keep it to yourself. The timeless adage never gets old. Do better heart, and as always, keep it classy. Dotremont, out. Thank you, Mr. Dotremont. Here's your weekly weather forecast. Um, weather. Uh, the Tuesday, today, is going to be a high of 94 with a low of 60. Uh, and it's going to be pretty sunny, which is hence the glasses. Um, tomorrow, Wednesday, is going to be a high of 93 with a low of 60. Uh, I think it's going to also be sunny, which is like really weird because it's like never sunny in Santa Clarita. It's like the weirdest thing. Uh, and then tomorrow, after tomorrow, which is Thursday, it's going to be 93 with a, another low of 62 which is another number, and uh, it's just going to happen to be sunny. It's really weird. Back to you guys, I guess. Hispanic History Month continues through October 15th, so watch this. 
Good morning, heart. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and today I have another amazing Hispanic icon. I'd like to talk about Sonia Sotomayor. Sonia Sotomayor was born on June 25, 1954, in Bronx, New York, to her native Puerto Rican parents. After her father died when she was nine years old, her mother had to work six days a week, which contributed to Sonia learning English fluently. Working hard during her youth, she earned a scholarship to Princeton, where she graduated with a history degree and then transferred to Yale's law school. She was appointed a Supreme Court Justice in 2009 by President Barack Obama, taking the fifth seat from retiree David Soder. She's famous for becoming the youngest judge in the Southern District and becoming the first Puerto Rican woman to serve as a judge in the U.S. Federal Court. She is still serving strong at the age of 68 and continuing to protect American rights and ideals. As always, this is Jade Heimer reporting for Heart TV, and I'll send it back to you in the studio. We'll be back right after this. It's a four eyes. Where'd you get those shoes? The dumpster? No, I got them from Walmart. Shut up, nerd. Get out of here. I said do it. Didn't you hear me? Dumpster boy? Whatever. And now the news. Girls Golf plays the red versus the black at Chica. Tee off is at 3 o'clock. Library night is tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. Free tutoring and homework help for English, math, science, social studies, and Spanish. Come on in to get the extra help you might need. Math and science tutoring today at lunch in room J1. All levels of math, all levels of science. Come on in to get the help you need. Hey, current 9th and 10th graders, have you ever thought about going to Spain? Senora Giron will be leading an educational tour in Spain from June 3rd to June 12th, 2024. Come to an informational meeting this Wednesday, October 5th, at lunch in room T110. A representative from Lyo Tech will be visiting our campus on Friday, October 7th at 8.30 a.m. in the library. If you're interested in attending this presentation, please stop by the counting office to sign up and pick up a permission slip. A representative from FIDM will be visiting our campus on Friday, October 7th from 9.47 a.m. to 10.47 a.m. in the library. If you are interested in attending this presentation, please stop by the counseling office to sign up and pick up a permission slip. Clubs. The French Honor Society meets today at lunch in room Q9. Bienvenue to Le Monde. Speech and Debate Club will meet today at lunch in Mrs. Nishioka's room for F43. Please join us. New members are always welcome. Girls Who Code Club meets today at lunch in room T205. New members are always welcome to join and no coding experience is necessary. Please check our Google Classroom for updates with the join code BHI7W6E. Robotics Club meets today at lunch in room C2. All are welcome. Star Wars Club meets today at lunch in room F11. The force is with us. So come and join. International Food Club is meeting on Wednesday at lunch in room T108. If you want to bring something, join the Google Classroom with the code AODSBQO. If you want to stay up to date with the Red Cross Club, please join the club using Google Classroom code ac 46 2Z5. The next meeting will be held Tuesday, October 13th in Mrs. Williams' room S2. All existing and new members are welcome and encouraged to attend. We hope to see you there. And now it's time for today's quote of the day. Be kind whenever possible. It's always possible. <laughs> Dalai Lama. Well, that's it for our show. Taking us out today is Mr. Zella's Top 10 Countdown number 2. Here is Please Come Home by Dustin Kentru. Remember, be kind to one another. And, and stay, stay classy, classy, heart. Before you 